Hello friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. This is Sherry and welcome to Tag Tuesday. So uh, this is an open collab hosted by me and anyone's welcome to join in. Just wanted to let you know in case you are interested. Just let me know and I'll add you to the list in my, in my description box. I'll add your uh, YouTube channel or your Instagram link and uh, uh, just go ahead and link my channel and I think that, that's about it. You're good to go. Just post a tag video anytime on any Tuesday and you're not obligated to participate every week just whenever you have time. And there's no prompts, just, you know, have fun. <laughs> That's the only requirement. So this week, um, if you've uh, been watching my Tag Tuesday videos, I've been working on using up these little digital prints that I printed. And they're from um, Shabby Dabby Doodah, one of her uh, kits, and uh, digital kits. And I've been also using up these. And I've always kept them separate, right? These are, uh, these were from a little kind of like a journal that my friend sent me and she said to take it apart. She wanted me to take it apart and use them. So that's what I did and that's what I've been doing. Let me leave it out. So I've never combined them and I thought, well, why haven't I? Why don't I just use them together and see what I can come up with, right? So, because I had some ideas and I kind of wanted to, um, you know, maybe use both of these uh, things that I've been keeping separate. So I have a piece of manila folder, a scrap that I took out of my scrap box. And I'm going to just focus on ma making one or two tags today. And uh, that'll be it. So it might be a short video. We'll see how long it takes this takes to get these together. But I kind of had an idea and I kind of don't. <laughs> I have a, let me put it like this. I have a plan. Or I have an I, okay. I have an idea, but I don't have a plan. That's what that's what I got. <laughs> an idea, but not a plan. Okay, so I wanted to use some of this pretty wallpaper. I've been wanting to use some wallpaper. Let me incorporate some wallpaper in here somehow too. So I'm going to. I don't need very much, but I need enough. So let me tear a piece. And I usually cut my wallpaper. I don't know if I've ever torn it before. So let me see if I even know how to tear it here <laughs> or if it can't because you know how thick wallpaper is. I don't remember tearing it. I, I might have in the past, but I just don't really remember it. So, well, it's tearing just fine. Oh, wow, it tore nice and straight. Well, look at that. Okay, now I know. Now, I want to, I think I want to have this on top of something. Like I want to put the wallpaper up here and put something down here. So I'm gonna look for something in the pile of the things that my friend sent me, the little journal pieces, and see what I can have, find to put on the bottom half. And then I'll have the wallpaper. My, my thought is to have the wallpaper overlapping what is on the bottom. So lots of good um, possibilities here. So cute, but I want kind of a, a book page or here's some music that would work. Uh, I don't need much, so probably just, yeah, let's use this music. This would be perfect. Okay, let's see what's on the other side. Nothing. Okay, perfect. Awesome. I didn't, I like I said, I had an idea, but not a plan, so I really didn't know <laughs> what, what I was just going to look and see what I had, right? So let's tear this one. I uh, kind of want to, I guess I'll just do half and half and see how, how it goes together. How it all fits together. Okay, so I'm gonna tear this. I think this is a double layer of music paper here, or almost a double, not quite. Yeah, it's folded right here. Okay, so I'll put that back in that pile. And actually, uh, I might go ahead and tear it over here too. Let's see if I can tear it even with this. I normally would glue it down and then cut it off, but I kind of like that torn edge. So I might just, even though it's straight, it's still torn and it has that look of torn paper. And then this on the bottom is uneven. Oh, let's see if I can undo this. This is double, kind of a double. I don't know if I can undo it, but I need to tear off a little piece on the bottom here anyway to give it 
if I can give it that. Oh, I don't think I can. It's too. I don't want to tear off very much, so I'm just going to even up the bottom is what I want to do. But I want to tear. I just want to take a sliver off. And so that's it's hard to tear a sliver, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, yeah, so that's going to go in that one. Looks like it's pretty much right. And then this one will go over here. Now this has a white kind of a border here, so I can go ahead and take that side off the top. Let me even up the bottom. I'll go ahead and, well, I can tear it now that I have. Here, let me go ahead and tear that. Then I can have the torn edge on the bottom, a straight bottom. It's a little, it was warm today, but it's a little chilly in the house tonight, so I've got my little space heater going. If you hear that little kind of airy sound in the background, we don't have our heater on. It's not, that's not necessary, but um, I just want to take a little chill out of the room here, so I turn my space heater on sometimes. It's a little tiny one, but it has that, has a pretty um, good, you can pretty hear it pretty good, that little airy sound. So, but it does, it does the trick, you know, it does the trick. It probably doesn't use, use too much electricity. So uh, that is good. Okay. Let's, let's pretty soon. I won't need it anymore. Let's see. This is washi tape up here, a double layer, it feels like. And then I'm going to tear this side off where we have like a little white border there. So get that over there and then. I don't need this to go all the way up here. I'll just be wasting it. So I'm going to tear this off again. These are going to be, I guess I'll make these similar because I think I'm going to like them a lot. I probably might, I would like to have more than one and they'll have different uh, center pieces or focal points. So let me just get an even straight tear here. And that's a good piece I can save. Oh, this is a sliver. I don't need that. All right, so I think I want to go ahead and glue this down. And let's see how this piece did. It's still, I would like to take this off because, okay, yeah. Because <laughs> it's going to be uh, not not glued down, right? If I have two layers there, they're partially together, okay? In the back there. <clears throat> All right, so now I need to tear this piece off. All right. Let's glue this down and then we're going to put some wallpaper on here. So I hope everyone had a nice Monday yesterday and you're going to have a nice Tuesday today and that you had a nice weekend. I had a nice weekend. I had a really good weekend. I got, I got quite a bit done. It's like you always need more time, right? <laughs> but I, um, I started my garden which uh, I have four raised beds in on the side of my house, but they're in. Uh, they didn't used to be as shady as they are now. They were always a little, you know, part partial shade, but I think the trees over there got taller since we moved here, and now it's, you know, it does get still get some sun. I noticed yesterday when I was out there working in it, it still does get some sun in spots, so I paid attention to the sunny spots so I could figure out what I want to plant where. But I uh, did some research on uh, things that grow, vegetables and food type related items that grow in partial shade or shady spots. So um, I hopefully I planted the right things over there. I have four raised beds. In one of them I planted um, just some herbs, oregano and basil. And then one I planted some radishes which I never planted before I had planted the herbs before and they did very well not over there somewhere else but I'm going to try them over there and then I planted some what else did I plant radishes which I never planted before and I planted let's see what else onions <laughs> I think I did plant onions before but there let's see where did I put the onions I think I I labeled all my on my bed so I would know what was where and remember what was where. You think you just think you're gonna remember, right? But believe me. Sometimes even there's only four over there, there's actually five things planted. I just was like, you know, I just want to make sure I know what is where. So I put little 
you know, markers on them. And then, uh, so onions, radishes, one more thing. What was the other thing? It was, oh gosh, what was it? I can't think of it right now. Pressure, the pressure is on. Okay, let me tear this. I'll, I'm, if I think of it before I, the video is over, I'll tell you, but I can't think of it right now. Onions, radishes, and, oh, oh, it wasn't onion onions, it was green onions. Green onions and uh, something else, which I can't think of right now. <laughs> okay, so I want this to go down over the paper, over the music a little bit, so let me see where the music is here. Let's see, so about right there would be good. So yeah, if you're not going to do a video, you can just always craft along with, you know, any of the participants. You know, it doesn't have to be me. <laughs> just have some fun making tags. Okay, oh, I gotta put this on here. And then, uh, you know, you can always give us some ideas in the comments. Okay. Alrighty. So. Okay, I'm going to take this little piece off here. I think I can tear that. It's a little bit wider than a sliver. <laughs> like a double sliver here. About a quarter of an inch. I'm not throwing that away because I love this wallpaper. <laughs> okay, so there I'm going to glue that down there. And then I have another piece to put on here. So let's turn it which way? Let's turn it this way. There's like trees on here. I love this red and kind of a uh, almost white but not quite white color okay so let's see where the top of the music is about right there so let me go down here it doesn't have to be straight really you know you can just rip it any old way if you want I just I don't know I'm a <laughs> straight tearing type of person so far okay now I'm going to take a quarter of an inch off of this one and then we can glue these wallpapers down and see where we go from there. I do want to uh, probably angle the top, but we don't have to. Maybe we won't angle the tops. You know, maybe we'll make rectangle tags today. I usually angle or, uh, I don't know. I guess I don't always angle, do I? A little corner angles, you know. Okay, so... Okay, so back to my garden. I then worked on, I have another container garden on my back deck, on a part of the deck that doesn't have a roof. So I worked on that. Planting some seeds that I hope will grow. I did plant them already once, and that's a long story. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but just, I probably planted too early anyway to begin with, so... I had seeds left from what I planted before, so I planted those again, except for one of them did grow. And like I said, it's a long story, And but that one that did grow, I did plant in a container. And then the other ones I restarted. So we'll see what happens. I'm kind of just trying to learn how to grow from... I mean, I know how to grow from seed, but I haven't been... I have been a little bit successful before, but not totally successful. Like everything I grow from seed doesn't grow. So I'm trying to learn how to make it all, make it all grow. Okay. All right. So here's our base. Um, now I'm going to pick out some pictures and see what else we want to do here. Uh, I think I need my ink and I didn't grab my ink. Hold on. I've got it right here. I always have it on my desk over there by the window. Okay. All right. Let me open that up because I want to pick out some pictures to put on here. And all of these will match. Um, any of these will match. They're just the colors are, you know, in Tina's, in a lot of Tina, Tina's kits, they all go with kind of a shabby chic. You know, I mean, she is shabby dabby doo dah for a reason, right? So, uh, yeah, I think these will be really cute on here. Anyone, I probably just should pick the first thing that comes to my hand here. I'm just trying to, we'll make, make them different like this. We'll make them, this one can be a little bit bigger. This one can be this smaller one. And so we'll ink around these. 
So pretty simple here. A base of manila folder for strength and for writing space on the back. That's my that's my reason for using the file folder. And all right, so that is inked. Not a lot of ink, just taking off that kind of whitish edge there from the file folder, you know, the file folder manila color. My stool is squeaking when I move. I don't remember it doing that before. Now I'm gonna be like, okay, don't move too much, Sherry. <laughs> Your stool is squeaking for some reason. Okay. I think a little bit more over here. This has a more of a white edge over here. I could cut it off, but I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, so now we can glue these down. So if you were doing something like this, you could leave this open as a pocket. I'm not going to do that. No, I didn't really want a pocket. So I'm just gonna glue these down. Uh, actually, there was one more element I was thinking of. Hold on, let me grab it. Put it right behind me. I wanted to put a coffee dyed doily on here. I forgot about that. I was gonna grab one and I forgot, but they're right behind me in that little drawer. Uh, storage thing that I have back in back of me not my dresser I showed it in my my craft room tour <laughs> the new little set of drawers I got and they're in one of those so they're, they're easy to grab aren't they right behind me okay so yeah I wanted to put something like this behind the the whatever the focal point I need to cut this off right here I'm going to cut it off up here, maybe, like that, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to have the doily hanging off the side a little bit, I think that'll be pretty, and then this one too, I know this one's smaller, so I'll need to cut off more, let me see how that will fit on here, let's see, I think I'm going to put this one up in the middle, and maybe cut off a little bit up on the top and the bottom, See how that looks. See, I've done so many different things with these pieces that it's kind of fun now to see what different things I've come up with, right? And for me anyway, it's like, oh, I can do something different this week with the same things, you know? <laughs> That's kind of fun. Okay, so I'm going to glue the, let's see which side of the door that I want showing. Well, this is the back, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Get some glue, all these little, glue on all these little parts. I want it, oh, I don't need it on the side. I always do that. I forget and put it where I don't need it. Let me wipe that off. I have to let that dry back there. Okay, so... Let me put this here and make sure that right there. I guess I could have glued it on the picture first and then glued it down. I could try that on the next one. Okay, so this picture is going to be totally glued down. Oh, I want that in the middle. Okay. Okay, that. Now this I'm going to... I think I will try that. Let's see. Well, let me put a little glue on here. That actually would be easier than trying to get it in this little hole holes if I needed to, right? Okay, so then this will be, this is the front, so this is the back. Let's see, which way did I have it? Like this, yeah. <laughs> okay, about like that. Let's see, let me get it where it was, okay. So there it's glued onto the picture. Now I can glue the picture down. I want to picture right down here. So I've got a little bit of glue on my finger. Okay, 
Put some glue all over here. Now, okay, that worked, that worked too. All right, so I want this one down kind of in the bottom corner here. bit of glue on this corner. Make sure that's flat. Let me get that all. This one too. Okay now I said I might leave them straight across the top but I think I will. Uh, but I think I will. Um, I would like to put an eyelet in here. Let me, I'm trying to see which hole punch I want to use. I think I need to use this one. I put an eyelet here. I'm going to use my crocodile this time instead of my, we'll see how the crocodile does with these. These, let's see, which I have two. Let me use these because these are a little, those are a little bigger. The other ones there, the hole, and they, these are a little, they're not tiny, but they're, uh, smaller than those and I know they work really good with the crocodile so let's use these this time they fit in this hole that I just made with that with this um, I need to empty my my hole punch look at that okay so let's smash these I was using this last night on my quicklets which are tiny eyelets so I need to change that around and get it going here See if these smashes it down. Any, see the other thing works so good. This is probably going to work good, but let's see how it did. Oh, see, it didn't even do it. It didn't keep put it in there. That's why I like the other thing so well. It works so much better. All right. Yeah, you might have to use the other thing. Uh, do I have my hammer? Oh, I still have my hammer in here. Good. <laughs> Let me uh, do this because I don't want to run out of time. I want to finish these. Uh, I might actually pause while I put the uh, eyelets in so that I can, uh, well, I probably won't run out of time, but I might. But then you won't have to hear me hammer, so I'm going to be right back. I'm going to hammer these in. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the eyelets in. I used the one I showed you on this one. It's Can you see the size of it here? Right here. And it's just one piece of the eyelet. In fact, I think I'm going to replace that. It's still not staying in there. And that's, yeah, it's just, uh, maybe it's the eyelet. So this one I used the other one. It's a bigger hole. Can you see that? And then I used the other piece. It's like a little rim you put over it, and I hammered it on. So, uh, I hate to pause again. Let me um, do that real quick here. I'm running out of time, but I did it the other day on uh, my video in case you didn't see that. This is now my new favorite way of putting uh, certain eyelets in. And these um, work really good. Let me get one of the rims with this little hammer method. If you ever, if you have one and you haven't tried it, uh, let me show you. I just used my regular hole punch. I put it in here, the top part of the eyelet. So you put that in that hole. And then this goes over the back. Let me make sure it's on there right. There's kind of a front and a back. Okay, so you put that over there. And put this little piece. It has a little kind of ridge in it. Put that over the eyelet in the front. It kind of sits in that ridge. And then put this little piece in here in the hole. Take your hammer, put it back already. Cover your ears and count to ten. One, two, three, go. Okay, three, three hard hammers. Pretty, pretty hard hammers. But it's like it's not coming out now, and it's it's like professional eyelet on there now. I love it. So. Um, there they are. So I'm not quite done. I'm mean, going to have two uh, white ribbons here to put with this. 
Actually, I'm going to coffee dice these one of these days when I remember to do it. I just haven't remembered to do it or had time to do it, really. But um, I think I will do one with a bow. So I'm going to tie a bow here. And we'll do the other one maybe a different way. I think these are really, you know, they were simple. Just a few elements. And they are turning out very pretty. And I would love to make some more. And put some in my shop. Which I will have to do. So if you're interested in any ephemera, keep an eye on my shop. I do have a few pieces in there already. Okay, so there we go. We'll cut this one. I like the bow. What do you think? I like the bow a lot. Okay, so there's that one. Let me keep this handy in case I need them for over here. That bow makes all the difference though. And see, it's just straight across, but isn't that pretty? And then you have writing space on the back. I think I'll ink around here after the video. I won't take time to do it right now. And then this one, we're going to do a simple loop real quick. I think that would be cool. Unless I change my mind and I'll do a bow. <laughs> if I like, decide I like that better. But it's nice to have different differences, right? And it's kind of nice. I might just leave this long lace on there. I mean, you could cut it off and make it a little shorter and stuff. But, you know, what if you really want to tie it on to something? What if you want to tie it onto a package or, or any you know something in your house or wherever? Then you have a nice long piece of lace too, actually. Or you could even tie a little knot right up here, and make a loop like that. So, so if I leave this this lace long like this, then if I do put this in my shop, then whoever gets it will have options, right? So, and you can always add a word or something down here. I don't have time to do that now. My time is almost gone. But I think they're really pretty, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching today. I enjoyed making these, and uh, be sure to check out all the participants and uh, see all the amazing things and ideas that they have for you today. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting, and have a great day.